Alrighty, here's my little homemade prop balancing stand. Basically just a piece of block, anything, you can do it out of aluminum. I actually started making one out of scrap aluminum, but this worked better. Um, some scrap wood, all you do is take it to the little dollar um, motor mount. They were like a buck and a half or four of them. I'm probably going to order more. <laughs> um, I just screwed it to the wood. Really the only thing you need is an upright to screw it to so the balance, you know, sits straight. It doesn't even have to be all that great as long as it's, you know, this way it's fairly straight. And that's it. Stick a drive shaft through it and off you go. Now, right now as it sits, it's got the bushing on it. Okay. Which is okay. But as you can see, when it goes to stop it's not smooth I mean it, you know, it's, it could be worse but you're not going to be able to balance it properly with it so what I gotta do is pop them out and put I have the little bearings that I stole off of my old quad just for this and yeah, they're a little loose, they're not perfect, but it doesn't really matter because you're just balancing the prop. Now well, when I spin it, you're going to notice a lot better, you know, smoother ability, everything about it is just better. And this goes to show that the bearings are definitely better than uh, the bushings. And as you see, as it comes to a stop, it'll probably rock back which it would never ever do um, with the bushings so that tells you how much better the bearings are and as you can see that one's actually not even out of that balance that much I have some brand new ones here that I got we got a whole bunch of brand new ones a lot of them are all damaged but these are good so I'm going to balance them so let's take this one off you don't have to screw it or anything. And stick this one on. And as you can see, this side's heavy. Now, I usually use packaging tape. I usually use clear packaging tape. But for today, I'm going to use this brown so you can see what I'm doing. And all I'm going to do is guesstimate how much weight it needs. Take a little bit of this brown packaging tape and kind of cut off a piece. Now it's pretty close to balanced. It's a little heavy on this side, so I want to add some weight to this side. And all I got to do is cut a piece. And you don't need much. You will find very little is needed. Let me just kind of guesstimate how much you need. Slice off a little bit. This is probably going to be too much. It's going to be one of those trial and error things. Um, always put it on the top. The top... I need my glasses. Um, the top actually has less wind force than the bottom. The bottom actually does all the lifting. Well, as you can see, I probably need a little more. And I do. So, you can either just add more or just take that one off and put on a bigger piece. And that's all you do. It's just trial and error with adding a little weight with some tape. That's the leading edge, so I want the smoothest edge for the leading edge. That, I mean, that probably is too much now. And, I mean, that's all there is to it, actually. That was about right. And it's pretty balanced. And that's all you want. You want it to go across. 
give it a spin. See if it levels out. And that's all there is to balancing the props. Again, always put the tape on the top surface when you're, when, you know, the question. And that's all there is to balancing the props. You just go along and stick them on there and do it each one.